I want to get back to God's Closet. Uh, I love the title. Also, lots of question marks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How did you decide on that? Yeah, so um, I when I moved back here uh, from, I, I went to seminary in North Carolina for a few years and um, moved back here around when God's Closet was starting. And um, I had had these ideas of um, starting a church, actually. And um, and so I feel like there was kind of like overlap and synergy between like these like visions I had for like um, this like church I wanted to start and like God's closet like starting at the same time. And it very much like I feel like the like the ethos behind God's closet is is about like celebrating like trans divinity and about like the ways that we um, like lean into like abundance and like um like the 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 ways that we can like provide and like care for one another as like trans people and as like divine like beings um and um yeah so I, so the the name like was never like intended to represent like it's and that's why it's also like stylized differently so it's not yeah. like capital g o d yeah. apostrophe <laughs> s like this like this big God figure who owns this closet, you yeah, know, like, okay. uh, but it's very much more like, no, like we communally like are creating something yes. that we like share together and um, own together and um, experience together. And, um, and it's about that like shared experience of our like divinity as trans people um, that we want to celebrate as God's closet. 